Hello everybody, welcome to Queer Games Heck Yeah for today. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling a little battered, I'm feeling a little bruised. Uh, I don't know if you, if you saw, watched the last video about um, Kinder World, or as I said about half a dozen times, Kinder World, Kinder World. Um, I was, I was beaten by technical issues on that game. Like I muddled through and I, and I got through to the end of it, like plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Um, but it was a real struggle and, and I came out of that episode going, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know what that was really. <laughs> like I know what the game, the, like <laughs> that was like 90% not about the game and 90% about like just my technical, my technical troubles getting it to run which is all self-inflicted, 100%. So I'm like, I'm like crawling cautiously into the next game and I'm kind of like, I want to take a lesson from Kinder World and just be kind to myself and just kind of, just kind of go, look, you did your absolute best with that. And it's, it's kind of fun. It was fun to kind of go through, um, but it was a bit, it just fell a bit short of what I, of where I want to get to with my, um, like, you know, game playing life. Ah. Oh. But we just gotta let that go, right? And and turn our, our attention to the next game, Small Town Emo. Um, this game that's part of Pride at Play, which is an exhibit that's been touring around Sydney and Melbourne um, of just queer little indie games from Pacific and Southeast Asia. I think they're also meant to be thoughtful games, like games that kind of are a little bit considered. Um, now, I went to the launch, the Melbourne launch of uh, Pride at Play, and something that really struck out about, there's like 22 games, uh, but the one of the organisers of it, Xavier, every time this game comes up, came up, his eyes would light up. And so I'm kind of really excited about this one, um, just because it, it sort of also speaks to me on quite a deep level, I think, because, okay, from what I can tell, it's a New Zealand game, and I'm just like, everybody knows how great New Zealand is and how great New Zealanders are, because um, they just, you know, punch way above, their, way above their weight in pretty much everything they do, uh, and so I'm like really, really excited to play a New Zealand game, um, but also it's a Game Boy game. Now, I, was, I never had a Game Boy as a kid, um, but why it speaks to me on a certain level is because I feel like this game is is the developers have gone when we were kids there was a game missing like when we had a Game Boy this is a game that should have been on it and that really speaks to me because I got into making gay games because I had the same feeling like growing up there was an empty shelf where these games should have been you know, games with like gay men as heroes, gay men running around, games where you could ro like ma romance and marry other men. You know, those games were just not there when I was when I was a kid. And part of what drives my passion for making games is to fill in that shelf. And so when I see Small Town Emo, and I'm like, oh, they've gone back in time to make a Game Boy because this act literally runs on the Game Boy, and you can literally get the cartridge to slot into your Game Boy if you want. We're running this in the browser. Um, on the website where you can play it for free with just a regular computer. But if you have a Game Boy, you can actually go and get the cartridge. And I just think that impulse to to fill it, to backfill in that space and to make sure that, um, you know, the kids of the future never have that empty shelf. I think that's a real part of it. But also it's almost like make, keeping a promise to your younger self to go, you know, you were hurt. Um, and here maybe is something that will help heal you. So I really, you know, I'm putting a lot of pressure on this game because it's probably just a little five minute cute little game or whatever, but like, I don't know. I'm a bit emotional about it. All right, let's give it a go. Press start. Oh, oh. Okay, the music in the headphones is about 10 times louder than it should have been. I'm awake, I'm awake. <laughs> um, press start. I don't know, okay, oh, uh oh. New game, load game. Oh, and I also love it's almost like a little bit of like graffiti in the text. Because the thing with these low res, low pixel games is you 
like the people doing the art don't have much to work with, but they often do like the best stuff. Like you just saw that title screen was gorgeous. All right, less talking, more playing, I think. Can we figure it out? Okay. Ken, mm, whoa, is it my phone again? Uh, <laughs> it's a flip phone. I don't know what year that is. I guess that's like 2005, 2007-ish. Mm, sleepy, who the, who the heck's text bombing me? Mm, let me see. Ken, these, these texts are all from Fergus. Fergus, one of five. Oi, Ken, wake up, dumbass. Oh. Emo kid, dumbass emo. Fergus, two of five. I only have like 10 texts left. <laughs> Fergus, three of five. I'm wasting my credits on you, baby. Oh, that's so romantic. I'm wasting my texts on you, baby. Oh, I remember, okay. At my, <laughs> there used to be, you had limited texts you could send because they cost like 50 cents or a dollar. They could, yeah, like 50 cents to send a text. Um, and maybe you got like 10 free a month. Yeah, 10 free a month. <laughs> and so you'd be like, if you spent the, the money on texting someone, it meant you really were into them. Oh, Fergus five of five. Plox, wake the heck up. Go use your PC. Oh wow. Uh, I promised Fergus we'd hang out. I was gonna tell him I like him. Oh, but that's insane. I can't. No way. It'd be easier to just keep avoiding him. Heck, why am I like this? Uh, guess I'll message him on the computer. Uh, this is awesome. I love the sprite is a brighter color than the rest. Um, it just helps it pop out. Maybe that's a very common, as I said, I haven't really played many Game Boy games, so I don't really know if that's a common thing, but this looks very solid. Oh, save game, exit game, cancel. Uh oh, I don't want to accidentally exit the game. I press spacebar, okay. Use the computer, spacebar. You are online. Oh, someone sent you some nude. Ugh. I don't know what to say. Remember the three step program. One, click the chat window. Two, type something relatively sane. Three, hit send. I can do this. Oh. Uh... Uh oh, how do we? Oh, 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 I see, okay. There's a little bit of WASD action on this thing. Okay, click. You. Okay, we. I didn't type that. The game's putting words in my mouth. Um, jeez. Good morning, Ferg. Laugh out loud. Send it? No, send. Ooh, uh. It's 11.40, noob. When are we hanging out? Hanging out. Like some sort of face? I don't know what the face is. Let's do some more typing. I feel guilty for avoiding him. I'll give a vague excuse. Soon, I've just been distracted. Send. Busy being gay and emo? Huh? Is... does he know? This is just how people spoke back then. We never really talked about it. I told him I was by at Beck's birthday. But he was asleep on the couch. Ugh, I'm taking too long to reply. Ken, what do I say? Oh no. Say a half truth, tell a half lie. <laughs> um, I'll go with half truth. No, I have a crush on someone. Oh. It's you, Fergus. Okay, okay, who? Man. <laughs> this is very cute. It's gotta be someone he doesn't know. A girl, oh, a girl in star math group. <laughs> you know, no matter where you go on the planet, there's always like different types of maths classes. <laughs> huh, KK, I'll wingman you. Uh, let's hang out in town today. Fuel, he's buying it. Okay, I've missed seeing you. Aww. 
Ken, that's too sappy. Not even no homo could save it. The rays. I don't think we said no homo back in like 2006, really. By the way, Halloween party tonight. Invite your crush. Ugh, I don't want to go to any parties. But I've been kind of dodging him. Gotta pretend everything's normal. Maybe we can get a ride in with mum. I'll ask mum to drive us. Message me when you have convinced her. Oof. <laughs> uh, I could just, I could just rip the band-aid off. Tell him, get it over with. Mm, sure. By the way, um, I like you. Send it. Send it. Come on. Ugh, teasing us. Oh, it's gonna do the <laughs> the thing you do when you're a teenager, where you're like, oh, you know. I kind of, you know, there's someone I like, um, you know, you, I think you know him. No, I think, I think you know them. You, you play the pronoun game, you know, with them. Ah, uh, did that go well? I'm not sure. I guess we're going to hang out anyway. I should start getting ready. Oh, um, guitar, clothes on the ground. Um... Bless my corner mess. Yes. Don't have the energy to clean this up. Harmless dresser overflow. Only, only heck can make me put away this mess. Anyway, we were, I th thought we needed clothes. Don't want to tidy. Okay, well, I should go talk to mum. Got a scab a ride into town for me and Ferg. Wow, what a great house. I'm loving the art in this game. Can we talk to Kitty Cat? Good morning, Roxas. Is that right? Did you not get fed yet? Me. <laughs> Lies. This is a very cat thing to do, isn't it? Hmm, uh... Kenichi, go get dressed. Lazy weekends have made you a slobby teen boy. Mm, uh, oh, go get dressed. Yeah, okay. Well, I tried. Oh, she get fresh digs from my dresser. Okay. I guess I could put clothes on. Stay in boxes, get dressed. Yeah. Cool haircut. Nice to see you in clothes. Good morning. Morning, Mum. Are you driving to town today? Because I, um, I was hoping me and Ferg could get a ride. Kenichi. I hope I'm saying that right. I have many web designs to make. Awful staff at the stadium want 87 unique pages. Whew. Oh, right, but isn't it your day off? Hmm. Did you say Fergus needs a ride? I do like your friend Fergus, you know. Oh, Yeah, he's... I like him too. Uh, did you ask him how his mother is? Um, she's the same, I think. What, you didn't ask? I will, I will ask. Just, I, um... Okay, I'll drop you boys off in town, but first you must finish your chores. Dishes, laundry, tidy your room and eat. And take a shower, stinky boy. Ah uh ha -huh. A shower, but I just got dressed. Off you total now, housework time. Okay, I missed the list of all of that. Um, something about... Dusting? Friend made this glazed pot. When I was little, I'd hide boogers in it. Oh, God. oh wow, this is cool. Um, okay, I think we clean our room now, right? Yeah, okay. That should be tidy enough. Great. Oh, we need a shower. It's more of a bathroom. Oh, 
I should take a bath. Okay, gotta brush my teeth and stuff too. Later. Oh, okay. I'll just have a super quick scrub in the tub. Ugh, sitting in a bath is boring. Oh, huh? I have a lot of belly button lint today. Am I gross? Bodies are weird. Blah. I still have a lot of, um, belly button lint, for sure. Clean and fresh. Where does it all come from? I don't know. Time to get dressed again. Yes. Uh, brush our teeth. <laughs> uh, yeah. How resentable am I? I should give my teeth a strong brush. No, I'm not. I'm not playing the pimple game. Come on. No. <laughs> Oh no, this is um, a f like a while ago on Queer Games Take Care, we played a game called Talking to My Dad, where you're stuck in a car with your father as you go on a long drive, and you, and there's just all these really awkward conversational moments, um, and you, <laughs> and it was so well done because you really feel the pain, and just now <laughs> I'm just, <sighs> uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is gross. This is, this is the, um, this is the end state of Game Boy games. Like, the day they called it the Game Boy, um, and I think this this moment was inevitable. Ah. Now I just gotta brush my teeth. Okay. I'll brush the yuck off my teeth and get totally kissable as hell. Oh. Oh, I like. Okay, we're controlling the toothbrush. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's good enough. I'm done looking at myself. If I leave the toilet seat up, I'm toast. Okay. Doop. Was there anything else we need to do? I'm sure there's like laundry or mowing the lawn or something. Oh, you haven't had breakfast. The dishes aren't cleaned. Isn't the laundry still in the machine? Yeah. Lazy bones behavior. Okay, laundry. What is the, where's the laundry, do you reckon? Here we go. Okay. The washing machine just finished. I'll empty this load up. This reminds me I actually need to do my washing. I'll load this up and hang out all up to dry. Yep. Okay, this is, it's just very um, kind of mundane, isn't it? We're literally just kind of living our um, daily life. Uh, breakfast dishes. Dishes, that's right. Gotta scrub and stash these dishes. Should only take a few minutes. And now I smell like lemon soap. Um, should we have breakfast? I don't see a fridge. Oh, there it is. What should I eat for brunch? Oh, leftover omelet. Old croquettes. Mm. Well, I love egg, really. I'll just microwave this to hell. This smells kind of crazy. Oh damn, it's hot. I gotta eat this slowly. That's a good looking omelet. Yo, am I fed my... I fe oh no. Um, did you forget something? Tidy your plate away, honestly. <laughs> Dishes are done. Still a few foam bubbles in the drain and three bleached beans. I'll sneak my plate back in the cupboard. It's hardly even that dirty. Ugh. Gross. No, okay. Well... Hey mom, I'm done with my stuff. Okay honey, I'm just saving these files. Were you going to have Fergus come over? You want me to drive you both into town? If you don't mind. I mean, we could walk, I guess. Kenichi, it's okay. I'll grab a coffee and check out the gallery. Yes, I mean, alright, if you're sure. I'll, um, go message Fergus to come over. Oof. You should just yell over the fence. <laughs> Yelling outside? Sounds old school. You teenagers are so digital. You're literally a web designer. <laughs> details, details. Come and get me when he's here. 
Okay, time to get back on the computer. Dum -dum -dum, dum -dum -dum. It's very task driven y this game so far, isn't it? And it's a bit more like ready for the the to me the focus of the game is kind of the well maybe I thought the focus was probably gonna be on the relationship, but like on the emo thing, but I guess if it's like a real slice of life stuff, a big part of it is just doing chores. Just need to tell him to come on over. Come over, Mum will drive us. Boom. Can you come over first? I want to show you something. He wants to show me something? I shouldn't read into this. It's probably a new band he got off my wire. Uh, you, I don't know what... That sounds illegal, if you ask me. You always do this. Fine. Don't jump the fence. We just planted a hundred new flowers. Ugh, dumb flowers. You want me to walk the long way? Yep. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Hurry up. Fine, on my way. I'd better pop over to his house. Yeah, my heart is pounding. I wonder why he wants me to come over. This is very authentic. Just reading way too much into every little thing. Oh. I'm gonna go get Fergus. Okay, honey. If his, if his mother is awake, give her best wishes from us both, okay? Okay, Fergus lives behind us. He said not top the fence, so gotta go around the block the long way. Classic New Zealand block. Oh, let's talk to the neighbours. Dad next door. Hey, sup? You're the neighbours' kids. I'm trying to cover up this graffiti someone did. You got any uh, house paint, Gothbro? No, um, I'll keep an eye out. Ah, oh. yeah. That word was a lot more common back then, <laughs> in the oldie days. Oh. Well, this is quite a substantial map. They've done a bit of, they've done some work on this. It's gorgeous. I mean, I'm totally lost, but... Oh, some sort of letter thing? Is this computer paper? Oh, it's a print out of a meme. <laughs> Mwah. Huh. There's a note underneath. The hilarious image. Let's just pretend. I guess you had to be there. Let's pet the dog. Lazy dog. Ken, Fergus walks this dog sometimes. When he was 10, she chased him home once because he didn't give her a goodbye pat. Oh. I walked past a, I was walking past a house the other day. Oh no, yesterday. I was walking down a street. And I looked over to the other side of the street and there was a giant bay window like from well not a bay window just a giant wall window from like floor to ceiling on one side of a house um, into their living room apologies for looking in but then just <laughs> and it had the full glare of the sun on it because it was about midday or oh, one o'clock and there was just this old golden retriever just sitting up against the glass in the sun full body length <laughs> just watching the world go by just enjoying the sun being amplified by that glass and it was just like the most majestic beautiful thing I think I'd ever seen it looked like it was like a lion but it was like a golden retriever so it had like it had like the luxurious of the lion but also it just had like the you know the harmlessness of a golden retriever and it was just kind of like yeah for a moment I was just like can I go and steal that dog it was just gorgeous Lawn mower, huh? Kia ora? Dude, I'm busy trying to cut my grass with this heck box. Whatever you're selling, I'm good. Cheers, bye. I don't know, I forgot which house is which. Hopefully there'll be a big door. Oh. This is Fergus's place. Ah, uh, why am I so nervous? I 
can't keep avoiding him, but do I even want him to know I like him? Stupid brain. Oh, we're not walking on the flowers. You're here, Morena. Um, it's me, in the flesh. Uh, what did you want to show me? Is it a Game Boy? It's in my room, but um, I'll show you, then we can get going. Uh, my mum's sleeping, so I'll be quiet, yeah. Is she? We all had a, we always, like, we all had a friend when we were kids whose mum was, like, in hindsight, maybe suffering depression or something, but always, like, asleep. You know, you go around in the afternoon, and, oh, yeah, mum's asleep. Dad'll be home in 15, so it's fine. Okay, yeah, right. Um, actually, can you wait a sec? It'll be easier if, um, if I let you in through the bedroom window. Hmm. Okay, weird. Fergus's window is down the far end. Poor Fergus. Crash, bang, flomp. Fergus, ow. Ken, what? Sounds like Fergus crashed his rofflecopter. <laughs> That's a word I haven't heard for a while. I should probably go in and check if he's okay. Go through the window. Oh. Ferg's room. I can't see him in there. I'll just use the door. He can deal with it. Oh no. Oh. Is he being attacked by a box? Fergus. Ah, damn junkie boxes. Oh, they've got a bit of a hoarding situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Stop struggling. Let me help you. Fergus, eek, Ken, I told you to. Oof. Actually, a little help would be good. Careful with the box. Oh. <sighs> hmm. Why would we make him wait? Let's do it. Dude, you're just going to stand there staring? Alright, rescue Fergus. I'll just move this somewhere. Ah, oh, it's heavy. Hmm. There's boxes and stuff all over. Are they moving house? He'd have told me. Oh. Um, well, this game has taken, like, a real massive turn. Um, but unfortunately... I mean, this is... Not unfortunately. This is a great spot to stop for Queer Games Tech Air for today. Um, because we only get half an hour of each game before I have to move on. And I actually am running late for my next thing. Uh, so I do have to wrap it up there, but, um, when we were, like, doing the dishes, I was kind of wondering where this game was going, but then all of a sudden, I think when we started walking through that neighborhood, and we just, the world opened up a bit, and we got to meet some of the neighbors, and, um, it really captured that classic suburban neighborhood kind of feel, and now this whole, like, mystery, I guess, for Fergus is just really, um, solid. I mean... Yeah, I mean, this game, I guess, really brought back my own teenage years a bit. So for that, I really, like, am grateful. Um, like, any game that makes you feel something, I think, is to be rewarded. And as you can see, this is a really pretty polished product from an unusual part of the planet. So I really recommend you give it a go. It's playable in the browser. I think it's free, but also it was part of the Queer Games Bundle 2023. So if you got that, you've probably already got it in your collection. It's also available for the GameCube, Game Boy. So you can download the Game Boy image and run it in an emulator, or you can I think you can actually order a limited edition cartridge. Or you could at Pride at Play. Maybe they're sold out, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to come back and do a part two of this one day, but uh, we'll see how we go. Alright, thank you for joining me. I actually really have to get going, so I'll see you, see you next time. Bye.